Hello, my name is Dr. Martin Doom Broom. Well, according to Riff Clitcher, anyway, of the band Slam. I thought I'd mention that in two days' time, Sounds in the Key of Broom will be released on 150 different platforms across the world. But this is my opportunity to tell you exactly what Sounds in the Key of Broom actually is about. So I thought I'd start with the fact that um, Riff has been a friend for a very, very long time. And this collaboration was probably not even thought of just a year ago. I'd always wanted to do and sing songs. I wrote a song, I Am the Phoenix of the Moment, for a charity called Rainbow Trust, who look after children with cancer. And Riff did the music for it. I'm eternally grateful for, you know, the help that he's given me over the years, you know, the encouragement, you know, the book writing, the fact that I draw. People say to me, you can put your hands on anything, Mark, but ultimately, what is it you like doing the most? I suppose when I was younger, I really wanted to be a singer. Above all else, all I ever wanted to do was sing. I sang for the school choir, um, basically put, learned some parts of what I did, but then I left school at a very early age. So a different course happened, you know, I started working and I continued working, right the way up until 2010, after a serious road traffic accident. I now have disabilities. I wear hearing aids. I have osteoarthritis of the knees. I also have uh, asthma, spondylosis of the back. Basically, I'm falling apart. I need to wear glasses for driving and reading. But there was one thing I'd never really finished. And that was being given the chance to sing. Yeah, I went to university late in life. Didn't have any qualifications when I left school. Uh, passed my A-levels with distinction, straight A's. Passed a Bachelor of Honours degree. Recently, I passed a Master of Arts degree. You're probably wondering why all of this counts to everything that happened to me during those years. So I thought I'd mention one thing and one thing only. And that is this. I went to prison for drug importation. And this is where the sounds of the key in, in the key of broom comes from. It's a collaboration of two minds. I'm bitterly sorry for what I did, you know, back then. In 1994 and I probably could have helped induce some of this pain and sorrow on the person that the sounds of in the key of broom is all about it's about drug addiction now sailing away the first song is probably the one song I got into so deep that I realized then that mine, what you've done is you've basically, you've, you've taken someone's life away from them indirectly. But I'm not gonna harp on that. I've changed my ways and I believe everyone else can too as well. So I decided, you know, fair enough, I'd give this my all. So sailing away basically is about being taken away in the moment of drugs, the addiction, how it, how it encapsulates your life, how it takes over your body, how it takes over everything that you seem and do. 
And then you have uh, who are you? This way, this way, you sit down and you look at yourself and you say, "Who am I? Who am I really? Who are my friends? Where do I fit in society? Who am I? Am I anyone? Am I me?" Then there's new world chaos. This is like coming out of a drug addiction. When you come out, you know, the world's changed. Some people could have been in it for 20, 30 years, and then suddenly they give up. Then what they do is they then turn around and they turn around and say to you, why has the world changed so much? It's because under the influence of drugs, Basically, these people have been able to turn around and totally obliterate everything that was happening around them. So it's like a new world order. You started living once more. 